Okay, so let's practice with our terms genotype and phenotype. So the first problem we have here, it says the possible fur colors for a cat are black and white. Black is the dominant gene and white is the recessive gene. List all possible genotypes. So genotypes is a genetic makeup of the organism and we're gonna use the same letter. And since black is dominant, let's use big B for that. And white is recessive and we use the same letter. So we're not gonna use W, we're gonna use little B to represent white. And our possible genotypes, so basically our possible combinations are big B, big B, big B, little B, or little b, little b. Those are the three possible combinations we can have. So that is our answer for number one. Number two, the possible eye colors for a turtle are green and yellow. Green is the dominant gene and yellow is the recessive. List all possible genotypes. So since green is our dominant, let's use big G for green. And we have yellow is recessive. So again, we're gonna use little g not Y. And then we list all possible genotypes, which means the possible combinations that we can have. And so we have big G, big G. We can be big G, little g. Or we can have two little g's. All right, next question, question number three. The possible colors for a rose petal are red and white. Red is dominant to white. This time we're gonna list all possible genotypes and their phenotypes. So phenotypes means what does it actually look like? So let's start again, let's do what we did before. We know that red is dominant, so we're gonna use big R for red, and white will be little r. So our possible genotypes are big R, big R, we have big R, little r, and we also have little r, little r. And then our phenotypes, we have, this is red, in this case, red is dominant to white, so when we have two of them, this is going to actually be red because the dominant masks the recessive. And when we have two little r's, we will be white. Okay, so the next one is, are the following genotypes heterozygous or homozygous? So the prefix hetero means different and homo means the same. So the fact that these are both little letters, and those little letters are the same. This makes this homozygous. And these are opposite, so it's a big and a little. So this would be heterozygous. Again, these are the same letters, so I'm going to be homozygous. And these are different, big and little. So it's heterozygous. Okay, the next one, give the genotype for the following. Use big T for tall and little t for short. So I'm homozygous dominant. So if I'm homo, that means I'm the same and I'm dominant, which is big T is dominant. So I'm big T, big T. That is a genotype. Homozygous recessive, so homo being the same, Recessive is my little letter, so I'm little t, little t. And if I'm heterozygous, I'm different. So I have one big T and one little t. All right, the trait for black hair is dominant to blonde hair. List the possible phenotypes. So that means is what does it physically look like here? So we know that black is dominant. And so if I'm big B, big B, I'm going to be black. So this is black hair, all right? And if I'm big B, little b, okay? Remember the dominant always shows up and it will mask the recessive. So I am black hair here. And little b, little b, I have two recessives. So in this case, now I am now blonde. Okay, the last one, the trait for big ears on elves is dominant to little ears. List the possible phenotypes. So we know that big ears is dominant. So big E, big E will be big ears. Two little E's, that's my recessive, so that's little ears. 
And when I'm heterozygous, I'm going to show the dominant trait, so I have big ears. All right, and there's your genotype phenotype, and it's pretty easy. Hope you guys got it.